And here we go. We are going to install Proxmox on our new Hetzner server. Let's get started. run the install image script right off the bat because we're in the rescue CD or image or ISO it's really just a pixie boot that Hetzner uses which is an awesome pixie boot by the way uh, Debian bullseye and it takes us to a short config quick points I want to touch on are the software RAID which we do want active so that's a one and the software RAID level. In this case, uh, of course, we want a 1. We don't have enough disks probably for a 10. Well, I can say that pretty, not probably, we don't. Um, and the uh, RAID 0 kind of defeats the purpose of what we ordered the server for in its kind of current configuration. Um, if you want to set LVM, you do so with this stuff uh, right down here. We're not going to activate that right now. I'm not too worried about that for the moment. So the way to save this is just Alt and the number 2. And then quit with Alt 0. Yes, we want to continue. Yes, we know it will erase. And here we go. This does take a little bit. It's not terribly long, although I'm going to do this uh, in separate video chunks. We will do the first bit, which is installing uh, Proxmox. Um, and that's just this bit right here. It's pretty short, it's sweet and short. Uh, the second one is a little longer. It will be uh, logging into the web server setting up the initial networking uh, basically it's effectively it's adding a small router device to do network address translation so that multiple virtual machines can use the single IP address Hetzner gives us um, now you can order additional IP addresses um, and that is a topic that we touch on briefly This particular server is an AX101. Um, I think it's about 111 euros. Actually, 108 if you get it in Helsinki right now, rather than uh, somewhere at wherever in Germany. Um, so we opted for Finland. Yay, Finland! It is the uh, birthplace of Linux, so seems appropriate. Uh oh. Mm, it sounded like thunder. No, I half think that was gunshots. files look to have been downloaded basically it's installing them now it seems again fairly quick setup as far as the proxmox installation and you do want to choose the bullseye version that is the newest version
and that is it. So, we're going to go ahead and reboot it. And we're going to start it. Well, we'll just wait. Effectively, this can be the end of the video. I'll just wait for it to boot and start the next video there. Uh, in this case, it's pretty straightforward to install Hetzner. Not super complicated for the server that we ordered. Um, just keeps things simple. Um, logical volume management is nice, but ultimately it's not super necessary for what we're doing. Um, we don't really intend to resize things directly on the hypervisor too often if we need to. Um, the data integrity isn't too big of a deal, and we're really we're working on a remote signer type of thing, thing in which case our keys are kept off the validator's uh, virtual machines in any case. Um, on top of the fact that um, these are dedicated servers and are not just cloud servers, which makes a big difference. So, uh, the next video we'll get into some different topics. I can pause. That's neat. I didn't know I could pause.